In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the shallow cross concept out of the gun tight Y off formation of Madden 23. If you want to get my entire gun tight Y off offensive ebook, I just dropped it over on my Patreon page. The link is going to be in the description, patreon.com slash Cody Bauer. That's where you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, tight Y off, I think, is an incredibly valuable formation because it combines some of the best principles of tight, but it also has a little bit of spacing in it that allows you to beat zone really, really well. So what we're gonna be rocking here on this, we're in the Jets playbook for one specific play actually. Um, but like I said, I wanna show you how to run the shallow cross uh, concept. Now, uh, you are gonna need some type of slot apprentice, tight apprentice, something like that. Um, if you don't have that, you can use this play PA go slot cross. There's also in the Bengals offensive playbook, they have the same formation and they have, um, I believe, I'm trying to remember the name of the play. I think it's called Flood Drive, uh, which is also really good. So I'll show you how to kind of create this if you don't have um, Hot Rod Master, but I think most people at this point in the year do have it. Uh, so I do want to give you this. This is the best concept in Madden, by far. The best concept in Madden 23 is the shallow cross concept. It has been proven over and over again. You watch any Madden tournament this year, you will see a significant amount of people running this concept. And almost every time they run it, it's almost impossible to stop. So how do we run the shallow cross concept out of this formation? There's actually a couple different ways that you can run this. Um, the first one is my favorite, but it does require a uh, hot route master. The second one doesn't require hot route master. So how do we run this play? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tight end, we're gonna put him on a post. We're gonna take that slot receiver, Herman Moore, and we're gonna put him on a slant. And then we're going to streak our left receiver. Now, I really like this route that CeeDee Lamb is on. I also like to block my running back when I run this play. But what you're going to see here is if they go to any kind of zone, you have this little this little uh, shallow cross concept over the middle of the field. Now, let me actually come out and cover on Robert so I can show you guys some man coverage. Obviously, this year, pretty heavy man coverage meta. So I do want to show you these routes against man-to-man. -man. Now, why the shallow cross concept is so good this year? It's good for a couple of different reasons. Um, if you have the short out elite ability, even if you have the short in elite ability, uh, you're going to notice something with these clear out streaks. These clear out streaks this year are better than they've ever been. They're actually a read. Normally, they're really not. They're just kind of a clear out route, right? But what you'll see is these bumps and animations like that happen literally all the time. And if you have the short out elite ability on that left side receiver, a lot of time he's going to get himself free against man coverage. So as you can see right there, super valuable for attacking man to man. Now, also, the other piece of this that's really valuable is against man-to-man -man coverage, typically speaking, we are going to get you know some type of rub or pick, and you're going to see here that these double crossers are going to be wide open. As you see right there, my slant route gets open, my tight end post gets open. If you have the short in elite ability, it really helps these routes be a little bit more consistent against man-to-man. -man. Now, if you want to, the beauty of this is it's a very – the shallow cross concept is an extremely versatile concept. Really, the core of the concept, if you don't have Hot Rod Master, take the tight end. This is actually more practically the right way to run it is to drag Herman Moore and to take the tight end and put him on a smart routed in route. You can run this variation of it as well. And as you can see here, it's going to largely do and produce the same kind of quasi result that we're getting with, with the slant post. The difference is the depths in which they run and the amount of stress this is going to put on zone defenses, which I'm going to show you right now. So if you run that first setup, I'm going to jump into cover three. If you run that first uh, or that second setup that I told you where you put the smart routed in and you put the drag, what you're going to do is you're going to look at that in route. If they suck down to the to that, uh, to that the in route, then you're going to take your drag route. But what you might have noticed is the yellow zones kind of drift right into kind of quasi a sweet spot, if you will, to take this away. And so it makes this a little harder because, again, the spacing isn't quite perfect. You would have to basically hide ball that and you see how that yellow zone is kind of right in the area uh, to defend this now another thing that the defense can do I'll show you a couple other adjustments real quick is if they are anticipating that you're running the shallow cross they can throw a curl flat zone on the side that they're anticipating that you're running and what you'll notice is this curl flat zone will kind of be right in the spot where that 10 yard that 10 yard dig is going to come into play which is why I personally prefer 
the slant post because the slant post really can't be guarded in zone. Um, so if I take this tight end and I put him on a post and I put Herman Moore on a slant and I run this right, just like this right here, you're going to notice now my tight end post, if I high point this, it's going to get over the top of that curl flat defender, right? Now the same is true on the opposite side. So what I like to do here is, um, you know, let's say we want to run it the other way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take Herman Moore. I'm going to put him on a slot apprentice post. Now I'm going to still drag the tight end because I can't unfortunately slant route him. If I could slant him, this play would be really, really incredible. It's still really good. Um, and then what I'm going to do with her Michael Thomas is a man, some type of man beating clear out route. So what I like is the corner route. I love the corner route to Michael Thomas right here. Um, this is a great play because this fade to CeeDee Lamb, which we didn't even talk about just yet, is going to absolutely crucify man coverage, as you can see right there. Literally just destroys man coverage over the top. So they have to put safety help over there. And basically what we're trying to get at here is they're literally running out of players that they can put in coverage to defend this concept. So now when we go to something like this, now all of a sudden the entire middle of the field is open and you can now hit your post over the middle of the field just like that. The shallow cross concept I think is the best equipped concept to handle the meta in Madden 23. You need to implement this concept. As for methods, there are many, but principles there are few. So learn the principles. Shallow cross cross concept, slant post concept, whatever you want to call it, is a staple in any offense, and this is how you run it out of the gun tight way off. Now, if you want to learn the rest of the tight way off offensive playbook, make sure that you join my Patreon. Uh, you'll get my entire gun tight way off ebook, as well as all of my other offensive and defensive ebooks, and the link to sign up for that is in the description of this video. So go down to the description, click on the link down below, and go check out the Patreon page.